In this episode, we're headed to a huge and very popular off-roading park. I'll give you a hint. It's in what's known as the Grand Canyon of Texas, the Palo Duro Canyon. reason I came to Texas? Mare's Adventure Park. I'm going to stay the night and do some off-roading tomorrow. And then uh, I'm not sure where I'm going to go after that. It's only been a couple of days since I left home, but I'm already starting to miss everybody just a little bit. This is the first time I've kind of went out on my own to have some fun, and uh, I'm having a pleasant time. I think it'd be more fun if everybody was able to, if they were able to come with me, but uh, it's not the case. So I'm gonna do some video editing Watched some movies tonight, I downloaded a few, actually thought ahead, and uh, they've got some Wi-Fi up there at the Maris uh, Welcome Center, I guess you'd call it. Um, you kind of have to stand next to the building, but you can use their internet, and uh, I used it to download some movies before I came out here, and uh, after that, I'm just going to call it a night, get up early. You can hit the trails as early as 8 o'clock in the morning. And um, make sure you've got a GMS, GMRS radio with you. Um, that way you can communicate with the team here at Maris. This jet boil single burner stove's working great so far. I don't know, it's, uh, it's a camp stove. I don't know what else to say about it. It does have a nice little uh, igniter there, that little red tiny handle there. You just push it back and then um, it'll create a spark and start it for you. It does have a nice fine control there on the knob. So I'm able to control the flame pretty well. Um, it's doing its job. It's it's not cheap though. I, I'm, I mainly got it because of lack of space. I just wanted something compact and uh, this fit the bill. Saw these at the grocery store, thought I'd try it out. Authentic Mexican taco shells. Never seen that before, but we're here in Texas. And then I like it spicy. Hot seasoning there. Got some diced jalapenos to amp it up just a little bit more. Some black bean, refried beans. Got some fresh onions. I got tomatoes in the fridge that I'm gonna dice up. And I've got shredded cheese and sour cream. So we're eating well tonight. After I toasted the shells on the burner there, um, they were super flimsy and falling apart, so I decided to make a taco salad. Now it's time for dessert. Mmm, nutter butters. Well, I couldn't get the sunrise. It's overcast today. Um, Pretty windy too. That's what happens when you're in Texas on the plains and at the top of the canyon here. But uh, you got the view. A lot of people want to stay down in the canyon, you know, obviously to stay away from the wind. So with it being cold, I'm gonna make some coffee. Don't worry, this isn't a coffee montage. Uh, just wanted to give you an update. But. Uh, yeah, I'll make some coffee and we'll hit some trails. Don't forget to turn off your traction control if you can. Um, 
Otherwise, your computer will think that your vehicle's out of control because it sees that you're spinning tires and say sand, mud, or loose dirt. And it'll cut power, start applying the brakes while you're trying to get through or overcome an obstacle. And uh, you don't want that to happen. So do that. If you have a taser, it'll remember the last setting. So uh, that's nice to have if you can get that for yourself. To see over the hood better when you're going over a hill, it's a good idea if you have the ability to jack your seat all the way up. If you're new to off-roading, some of this might look a little gnarly, but it's okay. Uh, if you have any doubts, ask somebody. You know, say, hey, is this uh, vehicle okay for these trails? that I'm wanting to do, and that's anywhere you go. But uh, yeah, this is a lot of fun, you know. Uh, these are the green trails so far. I think I'm gonna try to at least do some blue today. That goes to a blue trail. Yeah, look at that red rock. All right, let's go with this. I don't plan on going very far, so I'm not gonna bring my backpack, but I will bring some water and my in-reach device, just in case there's an emergency. Black grasshopper, I swear it has red wings. Somebody's making cairns. I guess that's the summit. Gotta finish. These people are hiking the same trail there. Real quick, I wanna take a second and point out that this is not a race. So come out here, be safe, go slow, enjoy yourself, try not to stress out. And uh, if you are really worried about it and you're on an easy trail and still stressing over, go with somebody else that has more experience. 
you know um, go learn about your vehicle have confidence in it what its limitations are um, if you go slow your vehicle will love you a lot longer for it not abusing it you know hitting rocks and stuff like that it's hard on your ball joints and things like that but uh, anyway come out here be mindful that there are people behind you and but take your time and enjoy it After you pass the playground, you're going to be getting on the Lonesome Dove Trail. You'll find that this trail is rougher and you'll come across more washouts and ledges. About now is the time I ran out of storage space on my second camera, leaving me with just this point of view to show you my favorite sections of the Lonesome Dove Trail. 
This will give you an idea of what a Maris Adventure Blue or Medium Difficulty Trail is like, keeping in mind that trail conditions can change over time. Now, because the camera mounted on the front bumper has no horizon leveling, it's actually able to give you some perspective to what the Jeep's body is doing. As you likely hear all the time, cameras don't do obstacles justice. This mild suspension is getting pretty flexed out right here. If you'd like to learn about this Jeep's mods, I'll put a link to my walk around video on the end screen.
Halte also los. Running out of daylight, so I am trying to pick up the pace here and going for the easier lines wherever I can. Here we have a ledge coming up, so you may want to take it easy on your rig by going slow. I'd say this one is about a foot tall.
Good morning. Well, turns out I stayed another night here at the Maris Adventure Park, and I thought I'd go ahead and take the opportunity to try to do a night lapse sunrise capture for the first time. We'll see how it turns out. I'll have to take a look in editing. But uh, anyway, I'm making some coffee. I'll spare you the details of watching me make it. But uh, Jeep just needs to be aired up, have the sway bar reconnected. I'll do that up there at the Welcome Center, um, unload some trash, and hit the road. It looks like they just started giving off road recovery classes if you're interested. Here's a map of the trails and their difficulty ratings. After the drop-in, the green trail is the Maris 101 right up the middle of the park. I then made a left onto Salt Fork Section 4. It's a blue trail heading to the also blue back 40. I passed through the playground where I helped that couple out, then took the blue rated Lonesome Dove Trail north to meet back up with the 101. That was my favorite trail so far. There's a lot I didn't get to or even know about, like Mars. It's in the upper right of the map. Well, I'm aired up, back on the road, and headed to Quartz Mountain State Park in Oklahoma for the night. Now, my stay at Maris Adventure Park, it was an outstanding experience. I mean, for $60, I got to camp on the rim of the Palo Duro Canyon. I got to experience some amazing off-roading on some green and blue trails. I played it a little conservatively because, you know, I was solo by myself. Um, yeah, for the money, $60, uh, 15 of it was for a radio because, you know, I had to have a radio just for safety's sake. They want you to have one, uh, so I rented it. Um, I've got radios at home, but I didn't think I needed it because I was solo. But, uh, yeah. Um, the staff was super, super friendly and helpful with any questions that I had. Uh, thought it was a long shot, but being on the road, you know, showers are important. I was like, do you happen to have any showers available? You know, how much does that cost? She said, oh no, yeah, we got some in the back, you know, it's free. So definitely took advantage of that. Feel nice and clean, <laughs> getting back in the Jeep and on the road. But uh, yeah, uh, for the money, you can't beat that experience. Definitely recommend it. Uh, I'm going to call that a wrap for the day. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video.